Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. This is another episode of our series Getting Started with C Sharp. I'm Faisal, and uh, today we will talk about desktop application. So, let's jump into the code. To do that, go to File, New, Project, select Visual C Sharp, Desktop and use Windows Form application and keep the name intact press OK so the software Visual Studio will create a template for you which is a desktop application so it's creating let's wait for some time ok so it has been created Without doing anything else, let's run the application and see what has Visual Studio offers us. Go to start and press start and see is the application which Visual Studio gives us as a template. We will add something in here. So what we need, we need some controls. but as we have we are we are seeing here we don't see any control over here how can we add labels or buttons or text boxes to get that go to the view select the toolbars sorry where is that yes it's the toolbox forgot that and I'm just pressing it as pinned okay so to work with Visual Studio and Windows Desktop is very very easy just select which control you want and drag and drop it for example we want to input our name and we want to display it as a hello my name so how can I do that so I want to show a text box over here and I also want a button over here okay save all now you can see the level 1 right here right we don't want to see that as a level 1 what do we want to see we want to see remember what the words I'm trying to say we want to see as a view as the first name or my name or only the name so the name or my name or your first name is a text which I want to put inside of that label right so this text will be shown instead of the label 1 so it is a property of the label 1 so similar the label one the text box and the button and the form itself has some properties so we can describe the properties as the information okay so information of that control we want to show or get or set so what is property property is the information the next question arrives how can I set or change the properties? It's very easy. Just click on here and search for the properties tab. We have we are seeing it right here. But if you don't have it, for example, I'm closing it. If you can't see any properties right here, go to view and search for the properties. Where is that? here it is and it has a shortcut remember control W or control P okay so where was I we want to change the property text property in fact of the level 1 so click here single click never do the double click I will explain why in later go to the properties 
I'm also pinning it and please check there is a property and the the tab is called the properties and it is called the text so we are changing that and my name okay now to understanding the other properties it's quite confusing for me not for everyone to do group that as their types instead what I do generally is to sort them as a alphabetically so that whenever I want to check the font change the font I directly search for the F it's right here or suppose if I, if I want to change the text I will go directly down here and change that okay fair enough similarly if I want to change the value of the text box well we don't want to change the value of the text box right now but we want to change the value of the text box similarly click here this property opens here scroll down and press that text as grid I'm saving it so le let's run it my name is Faisal and nothing is happening why nothing is happening is because we haven't told told this Visual Studio what to do if I click on the button isn't it so I need to instruct the Visual Studio or the software or this project or the code to do what to do if I click on this button so you tell me when should this code runs if I click on that so click is in user interaction of the user for example if I uh, want to change the color on mouse hover so the mouse hover is an action or else we can say it's an event look around you look around the softwares everything is doing according to the event you're clicking you are doing the mouse over isn't it so everything is event so we need to instruct the visual studio according to the appropriate event in this case we want to fire or we want to execute some code when I click on this button so how can I do that well after clicking on the button you can see the property step is uh, told us as a button one if you s look carefully there is a uh, icon like uh, thunderstorm and you can see the events text over here click on that so so this button supports all of these events so to do our coding we will just double click on this event and what does this event do right here this is a description occurs when the component is clicked this is the event we want so double click it so Visual Studio is creating a block for us where we will create our code so the next thing pops up in the mind what are we trying to do let's do the algorithm first we want to grab the value from the text box then we should store it in a variable and then we will display it okay as a message box info fair enough so how can I grab the value how to grab the value first we need to know whom I want to grab I want to grab this text box 
and by code what's his name remember it I'm saying by code it is a name property and you can see at the bottom of the page indicates the name used in code see this is what I said to identify the object so just pre just copy this text box one or even we can go to the code directly now uh, as I have seen there's a there's a bad uh, coding style uh, the people's follow which is double clicking on the controls to get back to the code it's very very wrong approach why because if you double click on the control the Visual Studio automatically create an event for you I repeat Visual Studio automatically create an event handler for you so you don't want that event to be fired but you are uh, uh, having that code is bad practice so how can I go that go that right click view code I will explain later in description so the text box name was text box 1 text box 1 dot text okay uh, as I have said in our in my previous video uh, you must understand what the IDE is telling you in this case the text property is telling me this property used to get or sets the current text in the text box so we want to get the text from the text box so we will use that and uh, where where should I put that inside of the variable so string okay the second thing what is the type of this property you can see the string text box text so this string is the return type of this text property so we should write string value equals to text, and we want to display it message box dot show okay so well how can I know how to show well I know that message box and how can I know which method I need to fire if I click dot there's only one method it has and how can I know which parameter it takes simple control P for the resharper and you can see is the uh, parameter type is a text so I'm and it's a string string text and our value is also a string so value sorry value fair enough let's run the code again 